What's up muscle car people? This is Brain Muscle Cars and I'm Matt and today I'm gonna show you my new car. Now okay I've had this for like three months now and I just haven't made a video on it. Uh, I bought this or so I ordered it way back in like May. It took roughly three months to get and everybody every dealership was charging between $2,500 and $5,000 over sticker to get one. I got this one. I ordered it. Well, put a deposit down and waited for one to come in because with Toyota, you can't actually order them. And uh, so I put my $500 down. <clears throat> when it came in, they actually had a $500 rebate. So I paid $500 under sticker. And I looked it up to see how much like i don't know carmax or one of those car places would give me for it it was actually like five or six thousand dollars more than what i paid for the car but i decided to keep it as you can see it's a nice green color and you're like matt i never saw that color that's because they don't actually make it of course we wrapped it brand new we took it all apart we wrapped it and it is wrapped in kpmf dynamite well matt dynamite uh, lime or green something like that uh, I'm not in love with the color it looks really good in the sunlight but when it's uh, cloudy or overcast it doesn't look that great that's my fault that's on me we did get two sets of RPF ones and we powder coated them blue and we're gonna do some blue accents on the side of the car so it is a base model I wanted a premium but with how hard these things are to get I didn't want to wait even longer maybe I, I might have had to wait like another two three months um, but it's a base model it does have a manual that was really the only thing I wanted and so far we got about 2,000 miles on it I like it a lot the <clears throat> doesn't really have that much power I mean I'm used to driving 700 400 thousand horsepower cars so this is by far my least powerful even my daily Volvo makes 300 horsepower this is like 225 it's got the new motor in it can you meet me up front So it has the new 2.4 liter, so it makes a bit more power. Oh wow, it's all in the engine bay. Um, we just did a video on color shampoo. So, um, and it's got more power, more torque. Really, it's got adequate power. I don't wanna say it doesn't have enough. It's okay. It would be a beast if it had another 200 horsepower. Maybe like a turbo sitting right here or a supercharger up on top would take care of that. Maybe someday we'll see. We'll see where this ends up. But right now I got this because I want to teach my kids to autocross. Well, I still can make them do stuff. So uh, they're going to autocross next season. Probably Caden and uh, Francis and maybe Garrett. So... It's going to get a lot of runs on it, and that's what it's for. I have taken it to a track night in America. We went to Pocono. Tia drove the Supra, and I got passed by every single car, pretty much, in the straights. But in the corners, I was keeping up with all of them because I didn't have to slow down. It does handle very well. I'm excited to actually autocross this. I have not done that yet probably won't until next year at this point but we should have some fun with it let me know what you think of these cars am I a trader because now I got two Toyotas um, I understand this is a muscle car channel but it's also my channel <laughs> per se and it's about racing and car stuff and they make really good cars for what I do I'd love to get a GR Corolla. I don't know if I can make that happen. I just think they're gonna be so hard to get. But we'll see what happens. 
So let me know what you think of the 86. Do you like them? Was I dumb for buying this? The reason I bought a new one over a used one was because, of course, it's 2022 and all the car prices are crazy. So instead of buying one with 50,000 miles and paying $20,000, I bought a brand new one that has a full warranty and has zero miles on it for $27,000. So it's kind of a no-brainer at that point. You get better financing and it's a better car. The second generation is a better car. I like the way this looks a lot better. I really like the side skirt. I like it. I just do. And I like the headlight. I like that. I like the bumper a lot better. Uh, the back is about the same. I would have liked the dovetail that comes on the premium. But so be it, you know. Um, this is what I got, so I can't complain. I'm not going to complain because... I still like this and if it wasn't for autocross i'd put one on there really in the end it might end up with a big old wing on there because we race in a different class but right now it's going to race in d street and that's where we're going to keep it one till the kids get better at racing and two um just because that's where i want to keep it for now but we'll see where it ends up let me know what you think Oh, one more thing. Should I, if you made it this far in the video, should I put the Fast and Furious Eclipse graphics on the side of the car? You know, the blue and the white? I kind of think I should. I know this is not Eclipse, but it's green. And I love that car. That's my favorite car out of all the movies. Don't ask me why, just is. Let me know if I should do that or not, even if it's for a short time period. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and if you're like us and you got a fast car, you better bring it.